Active focus is a bit like a magic trick. You're unconvinced it's a real thing until you learn how to do it yourself. After you find it, then it's about as real as it gets. Suddenly, all the non-believers look very silly. Active focus is a lot like wiggling your ear. I can't do it. However, once you can do it, you can do it forever and you're not going to forget it. This is roughly what it looks like, although the blur levels might not be perfectly accurate. So give or take a little here. Once you've got active focus down, you can do it whenever you like, as long as you're wearing some form of under correction. However, if your glasses are too strong, you might find active focus makes little, if any difference at all. If you've been getting new glasses every year for the past 15 years, your eyes are just flat out lazy, dude. Mr. 2020 okay. down the street doesn't use little pieces of plastic to make his eyes see better. Just ask any M-trope if they ever have to try harder to see things at the distance. An M-trope is someone with perfect vision. Many M-tropes will say they have to try a little bit harder to see things in the distance, almost like they're focusing on it. To me, that's just a layman's definition of active focus. Ask some other M-tropes, see what they say. You, on the other hand, don't need to do active focus because you can just hide behind these over-prescribed pieces of plastic and see the same things in the distance perfectly fine without trying. Hooray for glasses, woo! Oh, well, wait. So when we're talking about active focus in a vision improvement context, we're talking about doing it with glasses that are just slightly weaker than 2020, or with no glasses at all if you're in low myopia. Then through active focus, you challenge your vision, you challenge the blur a little bit, and over a really long period of time, if you keep building that habit up, your vision eventually improves. Many think it involves a relaxation of the ciliary muscle inside of your eyes, which would explain why it's harder to do when your ciliary muscle is locked up. The reasons why you should do it might relate to a couple of studies on the accommodation of the eye and some interpolation of the science, which personally makes it relevant to your vision improvement journey. Oh look, just trust us. Thousands of people have been doing this stuff to fix their eyes for years now. Are you in or are you not kidding? Thank you, not not the second up argument convince me. You can do active focus if you're undercorrected. This means either normalized or no glasses for distance vision and either differentials or no glasses for close up. People say you need a soft blink to start doing active focus and if they blink again then active focus kind of gets reset and they have to do it again. It's, it's not like a big deal. Active focus is really easy so the whole resetting thing don't think about it too much. And by soft blink I mean an actual soft blink not a hard blink that puts watery tear fluid into your eyes. No hard blinks this is relaxed and none of this either. When you don't know how to do active focus it's like there's this one neuron in your brain that's like trying to connect to another neuron and you're just trying to get them to connect. Trying to explain how to do active focus focus is like trying to explain how to move your arm. I just do it. So all of the stuff I'm about to talk about exclusively applies to only finding active focus. Once you've actually found it, there's no need to do weird drills anymore. They're just a bunch of weird behaviors and strange mental drills that people have said have helped them find active focus. It's all about getting that one neuron to hook up with that other one. There is no one right answer, so you're probably going to have to try a lot of stuff for maybe a lot of time. But no, there's no need to do... When you're doing active focus, you'll just be able to do it. Oh. Should you try and find it with close-up or distance vision? I don't think there's a clear answer to this, but you should definitely try it with text if possible. It's a common experience that text works quite well for finding active focus. Make sure you're wearing adequate correction for the distance you're actually trying to do active focus with. If it's too blurry, if your vision is just not good enough, it's going to be a lot harder to do active focus. And that's not what you would do if you wanted to improve your vision anyway. Finally, the list coming up isn't exhaustive, it's just to give you some ideas. I encourage you to do more research when you can, but this is generally what you could be looking into. So the way I personally found active focus was I stood behind a till and I did really weird things with my eyes, exactly like what I'm doing when no one was watching, maybe a bit of squinting too. And eventually, for whatever reason, it just clicked and I got this strange ASMR sensation and I could see a lot better all of a sudden. My vision was definitely noticeably better than it had been all that time previously trying. So I like to think if you found active focus, you pretty much know you've got it. Try looking at some text at your chosen distance and just try and appreciate the lines of the font, the text itself, and the weighting of the characters. Almost try and enter a meditative state where you're just focusing on trying to make the text sharpen up. If you're doing this with a book, try moving the book backwards and forwards a bit. Try not to force it too much. Look into the distance with normalized if necessary and focus on one central point, but also look into your peripheral vision and try and focus your attention on different parts of your peripheral vision and then go back to the object you're looking at. I don't think this is very effective. 
Stop trying to find active focus. Just be present in the current moment and look into the distance and appreciate whatever blur there is there. And that is that. Try to feel like you're seeing the world from the back of your eye instead of the front of the eye. So whatever objects you're looking at in the distance, it's almost like you can feel the light rays converging at a certain point in your eye and you're just being present of that. Anything from the Bates method. To be honest, my opinion on the Bates method is it sucks. All of these silly rituals that you have to do all the time are just ineffective for lens-induced myopia. They might work for helping eye strain, but they're not gonna work for modern myopia. Active focus is not. With that said, all of that weird stuff can totally help you out with relaxing your eyes and actually trying to find active focus. I just don't recommend doing bait stuff at all after you found active focus. And now, the actual best way to find active focus. Listen, maggot, when you signed up to improve your vision, you signed up to a serious long-term program. If someone tells you they can reverse your 10 diopters of myopia in time for your pilot's test next Saturday, they are lying to you, son. So a long-term mentality with all of this is super valuable. When it comes to active focus in particular, some people say they already know how to do it. For others, it takes them less than a week to find it. And for others like myself, it took a month or two to actually find it. Like it can take a while, but that's okay because the whole process takes a while anyway. And myopia is not a quick fix solution. If you want a quick solution, just go see your nearest LASIK department. So take your time while trying to find active focus and don't be afraid to experiment. Remember, there isn't really a quick one size fits all solution to this. And finally, remember that to get some fast initial improvements, you don't even need to find active focus. Just grab yourself a pair of differentials and start reducing diopters from losing that eye strain. That's all genetic failures. See you next time. Thank you.